Remember folks, we're getting closer to the exam. So probably time to identify strong suits, weak suits, the weakest section of the three. So we're going to think about what do you do to, to change this weakest section. Right? So how do, you, how do you work on not having a weakest section that can drag you down? And there will be a weakest section, but if that's all right, then you're all right. And so uh, this is, um, I'm, I'm fond of sports metaphors. There are lots of cricketers who come in there who have a, who, like batsmen especially, who, who have a short ball weakness or a leg side weakness or whatever. And then they, they pick one thing to work away on in the off season. So some muscle memory kicks in and then that weakness is, is offset. They change their stand, they change their position, they, they change something, they do premeditate more to do something else, work on it. And then suddenly that weakness disappears and then the bowlers don't know what to do. There's one thing that you could always do to these guys, suddenly that guy becomes a monster in that, so you're in trouble. And so you have to figure that out. And for before that, the first point is to be to find out what your weakness is. And so of the three sections. And why I'm saying this? Um, oh, there could be gut feel based weakness where you feel like look, my weakest section is LRDI. Right? But the, the data may not may not agree with that. You could actually be doing pretty well in LRDI and it's in your head. And so uh, very often the gut feel is correct, but verify it with data. When you feel like quant is your weak section, analyze your mock scores, uh, verify whether quant indeed is your weak section before you take your take a decision. So make sure that the 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 the, the data kind of comes back to to validate your hunch. Very important. Right? So if it doesn't, then reevaluate. It might not be that some. I, I've known lots of guys who are. A very strong song in weak suits and in strength they fly in weakness is trouble others where all three are very narrowly spread i don't really know what is my strong section what is my weak section in which case it's fine this video is probably not relevant to you forget about it carry on with life and so if indeed verbal is your weak section and so then, then how do i work away on on this typically verbal is a weak section it scrambles your brain anytime you have a weak section it messes with your brain a little bit so we need to figure out how to combat that and so the, the the weakness response to verbal typically is reading fast and, and attempting more and so two things that can land you in trouble and sometimes you have to say i got this all is well i can crack this you have to fake belief till real outcomes come and verify that so very often when you have a weak section you're you're already you have a kind of uh, a pre-existing bias that reinforces that you are weak in it. You got to say, look, teak, not the best in this, still all right. I can still find my way out of it. And so if verbal is your weakness. Then obviously the trick to do, the work to do is read, 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 read away to glory. Do leisure reading, passive reading, active reading, analysis, all of that, the work part of it. Uh, the, the, the two things that I would want you to think that you're doing it is, are you attempting too many questions? Are you reading too fast in the exam? There are two mistakes that can happen uh, that, that kind of make verbal a worse section than it needs to be. It may be your weak section, but you can still keep your head above water. And so make sure that it doesn't become a, uh, a, a, a nightmare section where you, because your weakness response sometimes reinforces the fear. Because if, you, if you're attempting too many questions, your score is likely to be volatile. If you're not good at verbal, and so you can't get a great score, but you get 23, 24, 25, 23, 24, 25 in mocks. And you, there's a part of your brain will go, couple of tweaks here and there, I'm getting 33, that's fantastic. Right? But suppose you're getting 29, 21, 11. And that messes with your brain. That 11 can land a scar. And the 11 usually happens when you're, you get to a score of 11 by getting, I don't know, seven questions right and 10 questions wrong. And you're just messed up completely, you're all over the place. And so you've got a higher error rate than correct rate. Sometimes not 11, sometimes maybe 4 or 5. Right? That means you don't have confidence on a per question basis. So you pad questions. You attempt more and more because you feel like, look, I've attempted only 15. Maybe if I attempt 16 or 17 or 18, it'll be better. The incremental extra question you're adding is only more risk, noise. And so read slower as a practice if your, if your weak section is verbal. Don't read slow. Read at your natural pace. Don't rush reading. Uh, the, the instinctive response to a weak verbal section is to try to read quicker. Nobody can try to read quicker. Reading speed will come. You can figure out ways of not dialing out. 
but you can't read quicker then your your mind will just glaze over things fine right? and don't take risks and punts uh, when you have no business taking them so to don't, don't dial up the risk and and don't read too fast so the two things that you need to tweak if verbal is your identified weak section lr da da lr is a weak section for several 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 people but da lr messes with your brain right okay? lrdi you can every time i start lrdi sections I, there is a part of me that is thinking subconsciously mildly that, uh, that there is a chance that i can i i cannot get anything right or i can get only one thing right only two questions right three questions right it's a real possibility right so now i'm feeling i shouldn't have said that now that is a thought that i planted in your head there's not a, i'm not, not i'm just kidding there is a, I'm, i'm sure all of us have thought about it and so it's a stressful section because of that and so in in lrdi there is a ton of work that you should do outside of the mock setting in order to become confident in this in the mock setting we're always one part of our brain is evaluating whether you have selected the right set that decision making is so important that it dominates and is running at the back of our mind even when you are solving a set you're solving a set while parallelly evaluating oh, should i be doing this should i be doing this which is a suboptimal outcome and so the big part in lrdi is to say look i'm going to do lrdi sets from previous year questions or mocks i've already completed i'm going to take one lrdi not worry about decision making sit and solve it even if it takes 45 minutes 50 minutes the very very important psychological breakthrough for several several students 80% 90% of students 80% plus students in every year in the last 5 7 years have exited cat without solving even one lrdi set completely typically you solve one you get 90th percentile last year it was 80th percentile last year lrdi was slightly simpler maybe 80th or 70th but on an average uh, about 85 90% of students do not even solve one lrdi set completely you don't get that mark which means there is a big uh, issue with completely solving a set right so in which case the work for lrdi is not from the mock point of view but out of it you need to take lrdi set sit with them grapple with them fight with them completely solve them agnostic to timing and outside the setting of exam pressure you need to have seen lrdi and solved it completely takes you 1 hour 15 minutes is all right hang in there finish it in 1 hour 15 minutes you will get better i find too many students who have simply not solved 30 lrdi sets completely and they've done lots of mock papers they've done lots of practice sets they try for 20 minutes and see the solution because then part of their brain says if you don't solve it in 20 minutes it's a waste you won't do it in a mock anyway ye iske liye paise bhi 25 minute lagega to iska kya fayda hai i can anyway not clear it might as well see the solution but hang in there solve your mind has to there should be a switch in your brain which says lrdi set whatever it may be i can solve mere se ho jayega and that, that 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 change in that belief system is very 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 important so for lrdi if that is your weak section that where you are worried that i won't be able to solve anything the solution for that is not inside a mock it's outside a mock when you take one puzzle without exam context without time pressure solve it and do this for 30 40 puzzles in maybe a week then a part of your brain will say jo bhi hai lrdi ho jayega then the decision making variables come into picture and so grappling and finishing off in 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 that flow that is very important finally quant if quant is your weak section simplify and as a, as a as a broad theme simplify narrow down your topics do not say i'll finish arithmetic algebra geometry number system permutation probability set theory other elements of modern math uh, and be ready for polynomials in the next 10 days this is your weak section narrow down you say i'll do arithmetic i'll do linear and quadratic equations i'm not touching anything else i'll simplify the scope of this exam my preparation syllabus my planning for the mock everything my aim is to do five six questions get everything right and quant is all about being utterly comfortable in your home territory and you should have a home territory and you should be utterly ease in that home territory and then you build out from there and so there are lots of uh, if you fall, again sorry to you know, slip into a sports metaphor lots of teams that win league titles are compellingly powerful at home in, in in IPL there'll be one team that will never lose at home they'll play seven matches at home would have lost only one win the other six they play seven matches outside 
win three, lose four, but they are qualifying. In your home setting, where your spinners work or your seamers work or your batsmen know how to clear and tonk over mid wicket, you play to your strengths, clear that. So, simplify, be the absolute giant at home. And the other thing that is super important is, is accuracy or quant. You cannot get anything wrong. Don't, don't think in quant section in terms of percentage accuracy. It's always 100%. If you're getting something wrong, you fully believed and you marked an answer, you got conned by the exam. Something was there. Right? And you don't play for 75% accuracy. So for all three sections, we have a uh, we have a very uh, powerful tool, a thought process. A bunch of these are techniques for learning, a bunch of things for rewiring your brain. There's some very, very powerful idea that we have checked, validated, verified very well. And so under, uh, if you want that, please do comment. So that's a toolkit thing that has worked a lot, really well for our students, for a lot of us uh, in, in terms of rewiring our brain. That is how we would have a crack at cracking the, uh, or, or amping up or tiding over this crisis of uh, a weak section. Please give it a go. Best wishes. Okay.